Welcome back to another Delivered Review. Apology for Missing Friday, so Saturday night's review, which is Burger King. And I thought I'd just go back to try the Peppercorn Angus, which has always looked pretty nice. I've just never gone for it. So, on to the review. And additionally to that was the Peppercorn Loaded Fries, which I thought, if we're going to have the Peppercorn Angus, may as well just have the fries to it, because I've not had those before. So, to start with the Peppercorn Angus, which is a 100% Angus beef flame grilled to perfection apparently topped with sizzling strips of bacon sweet caramelized onions fresh rocket and finished with secret peppercorn mayo sauce and part of the gourmet range now i think it's supposed to have fresh onions but i took the fresh onions off um, i think that have been just too much but the caramelized onions they were, they were quite nice not quite as caramelized as i think they probably could have been um, but they were still okay and you'll see in a second the well, again, how they're, how they're built, just nobody cares. I know I say this every time, and it's getting to be more every time. The buns, obviously, you can't do anything about because they're going to be as they are. But as you can see there, Burger King marketing versus reality, completely different. If you put them side by side and didn't tell anybody, you'd be hard pushed to know which one was the... Um, no, I say that wrong. Which one was the one you should be getting? The one on the left, obviously, you should be getting. But in reality, the one you do get is the one on the right, which, as you can see there. Might have said that slightly back to front, but either way, it's just the way they're being built. The, the burger was nice. The burgers are always nice from Burger King. Um, caramelized onions, as I say, were nice. And um, bacon was... It was actually pieces of bacon. Um... You know, in terms of sizzling strips, they, you know, they're slightly bigger pieces um, compared to the loaded fries. So the peppercorn sauce was nice. You've got like a nice heat to it. Um, quite a creamy sauce as per peppercorn sauce. Just not that much of it. Um, the rocket there for kind of garnish, I guess, really, like gourmet. Um, ultimately, a nice burger, I'd say. Definitely a nice burger. Quite substantial being Burger King. And uh, worth the 11 39 Probably not. Anyway, onto the fries, peppercorn loaded fries, which are basically the same as the cheese and bacon ones, um, just gourmet level. So golden fries drenched with a creamy peppercorn mayo, which is the same mayo, gooey cheese, sizzling bacon bits, topped with crispy onions. They're actually pretty nice. I know I said last time when I had them from Burger King, there was kind of too much of the loaded part, and there probably is a little bit. Makes the uh, fries a little bit soft, but really nice flavors um, I mean even to the point where I took most of the bacon bits out and stuck them on top of the burger after this point uh, overall I would say it's a nice burger but whether you could go to anywhere of nine out of ten probably not so seven and a half out of ten for the burger and eight possibly maybe a little bit much for the fries but they were still quite nice fries thanks for watching appreciate all the views and the subscriptions please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next week